WrestlePro fans, I am longtime independent wrestling fan Robert. Back to Brooklyn was a good show from St. Patrick's in uh, Bay Ridge, Brooklyn, New York, and the first time WrestlePro had been to Brooklyn since 2019. We begin the event with uh, Justin Carino going one-on-one -on -one with the Phoenix GKM. Uh, Carino had a mission local driver, but uh, tried to get a pinfall, but then GKM like r rolled himself up to where he was on top of Carino and scored the pinfall, giving the Phoenix GKM the win over Justin Carino. Next, it was tag team action, as we saw the Rat Bastards, I didn't get their individual names, take on Steven Azure and Steve Somerset, the Even Stevens. The uh, Rat Bastards were victorious, defeating the Even Stevens. Next up in a singles match, we saw Hot Dog Starks take on the Dominican Destroyer Vargas. Uh, fun matchup these two had, which saw the Dominican Destroyer Vargas defeat Hot Dog Starks. Next up was Bobby Wayward taking on truly blessed Casey Navarro. Um, uh, Casey Navarro defeated uh, Bobby Wayward. Next up, we had a dog collar match, which saw CPA go one-on-one -on -one with Sean Donovan. In what was seemingly a brutal, a brutal affair, Sean Donovan defeated CPA. At that point, the show had gone to intermission. Next up was a six-way match for the Silver Championship, as we saw Tony Vincita versus Lucas Finnegan versus Jay Haru versus Max St. Giovanni versus Yusufer L. All five of them challenge Falaba or Yusuf for L. I'm not sure he's supposed to be like some prehistoric, it's like caveman barbarian type character. And he was like going when it was in the in the crowd right by me before he was introduced to the crowd. He he went into the crowd like during the match. Uh Falaba picked up the win over Yusuf for L, Max Saint Giovanni, Tony Vincita. Lucas Finnegan, and Jay Haru to retain the Silver Championship. Next up in a singles competition, Colt Boom Boom Cabana took on the Bayonne Badass Dan Moff, which saw Dan Moff defeat Colt Cabana with the Burning Hammer! Then, for the uh, Gold Championship, Trax, that's spelled T-R-A-X-X, -X, challenged the Iceberg Dion Roosman, uh, Dion Roosman defeated Trax with a spear to uh, retain the championship. And surprisingly, that wasn't the main event. What went on last was bad boy Joey Janela taking on Killer Cross with his wife, new wife, Scarlett Bordeaux, in his corner. Uh, deep into the matchup, uh, Janela accidentally hits Scarlett, knocking her off the apron. Um, I think... Uh, Janela pulled the referee in the way of C Killer Cross in the corner. Scarlet came in the ring, gave Janela Janela a destroyer, and then Cross hit Cro uh, Janela with forearms while he was face down on the mat until the referee called for the bell and declared Cross the winner by knockout, putting an end to a night of wrestling. Uh, personal note was uh, nice seeing uh, being out there and seeing Stephen Ross. Um, surprisingly, they did the show upstairs. They didn't do it in the gymnasium. And actually, at first, at the time I got there, there weren't too many people. But I'd say after the 7.30 range, uh, more people came in. Oh, great seeing William as well. The, uh, Ryan Peterson. Um, surprisingly, at the, right before the matches got on the way, we had a WrestlePro chant. I don't know if that's been ever been done before. Uh, those kids sitting... In front of me, wow, they were making such noise, and like two of them were standing on their chairs, and I, I was like waiting for one of them to fall down and down, and I thought one of them would fall down, they were gonna fall down and get hurt, and they made me glad that I kept my megaphone in my bag. If I took it out, they would be all over it. <laughs> I mean, these kids weren't little tykes either. They were, you know, they looked to be like, you know, either right before, either preteens or maybe early teens. Eh. I mean, you know, uh, I mean, obviously, you know, you got to have a have crowd, a crowd making noise for a show. 
Uh, no return date was mentioned as when they'll return to uh, to Brooklyn. Uh, of course, tonight, May May seventh, uh, WrestlePro will be in Rahway as they present May Hem. That I think that dash bet between the Y and the H, I guess that's gonna. I mean, that's a good way to avoid getting sued because that looks like the old WCW Mayhem logo, which, of course, WCW was swallowed up by WWE years ago. But WrestlePro did have a fun show in Brooklyn, New York. Um, hopefully you'll be back in St. Patrick's later this year. Can't wait for Rahway tonight. WrestlePro. WrestlePro. WrestlePro.